What's up, Dodgers Nation? On this edition of the 3 at 3 Down podcast, I'm talking about which Dodgers team we're going to see this weekend in Philadelphia. Welcome back to the 3 Up, 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Eulow, your host for this Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. That is at E-E-U-L-A-U. If you haven't already, make sure to check out and subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Always a ton of great content from our team. You got Doug McCain running, Dodgers dugout, doing breakdowns, everything under the sun. You have the Blue Heaven podcast with Clinton Brook, which is always a great watch. Live 7 p.m. every Monday night. Always a ton of great content, so if you want to know everything you need to know about your favorite baseball team, subscribe to Dodgers Nation YouTube TV. On this episode, I'm talking about who are the real Dodgers, a jackal and hide the last couple of weeks. You had them losing five of six between their series against the Pirates, where they lost two of three, their series against the Phillies at Dodger Stadium, where they lost three of four, got absolutely embarrassed, got saved by a Gavin Lux walk-off on Sunday, and then in 42 hours... They win four games against the Dimebacks to sweep the series, and they're off on a 10-game road trip. You have three in Philadelphia, three in D.C., four against Arizona. It's going to be a great measuring stick road trip for the Dodgers, but the biggest litmus test of all is going back to Philadelphia to play a team where you gave up 33 runs in a four-game set the last time you played them. Bryce Harper absolutely embarrassed the Dodgers pitching staff. I don't know what they were doing. I think this is a well-coached pitching staff. I think Mark Pryor does a hell of a job, but they just got absolutely outclassed in that matchup in that Phillies series. So who are the real Dodgers? I think the Dodgers are somewhere in between sweeping the Diamondbacks, which, look, they're a decent team this year. They're not a doormat like they've been in the past. And I also don't think that they're just this god-awful putrid team that lost three or four of the Phillies and needed an inexplicable walk-off. Shout-out to Cody Bellinger for the triple. Shout-out to Chris Taylor for the walk. And shout-out to Gavin Lux for the double there to win that game and salvage a series and stave off getting swept for the Phillies for the first time in a long time. This team, team is still very, very, very talented. They're a little light in the pitching staff with injuries to Clayton Kershaw, Blake Trinan, Andrew Heaney. But this team still has plenty of talent to continue to win series after series. I'm not saying they're going to win every series for the rest of the year. I would say I would straddle the fence to answer my own question. I think this team is somewhere between. I think right now they're at a B plus. They have every chance to be an A plus baseball team. They're not going to win 116 games. I don't even think anyone's saying that anymore, but I just got to throw that out there. Like this team is built for October. That's why they're shutting Kershaw down now with that right SI joint inflammation. That's why they're not pushing him to the limit. This team is built building towards an October run. It's only May, but you know what this team is about. They are about winning it all and they still can but this Philly series it's only May but it's kind of important this team just embarrassed you at your stadium it's time for a revenge series it's time to go into Philadelphia win that series go into DC roll that team and then hopefully you can go back in and embarrass the Dimebacks all over again. But I'm interested to see how this lineup fares against Nola, who kind of dominated them in that game before it slipped away from the Phillies. But at the end of the day, they staved off getting swept by the Phillies at home for the first time in a long time. And who are the real Dodgers? The real Dodgers are the best offensive team in baseball, an average at-best fielding team, and an above-average pitching staff that probably needs another starter before the season's over. And you know damn well if Andrew Freeman feels the same way. He's going to go out there and leverage their farm system depth to get them another legitimate starter is it Frankie Montas is it Luis Castillo is it Rich Hill we don't know but I would be surprised if they do not go out there and get another starter a big series against Philadelphia that starts on Friday cannot wait to watch it my girlfriend's gone camping not that anyone asked not that anyone cares but I'll be glued to the television set as always for this series to get some more clarity on the Dodgers and the current state of things here in May that's it that's all I got time for thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation podcast. Check out the Blue Heaven live stream every Monday at 7 p.m. YouTube, Twitter, everywhere you can find your podcast. Check out my man, Doug McCain, on Dodgers Dugout. And thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.